Welcome to LilyPad for QuickBooks. Today we will be going over the control panel. So first we're going to go ahead and log in. And then once we're in the main dashboard here, we can see in the bottom left hand corner we have the control panel. So we're going to click in there. And here you have the ability to manage users, um, edit the user roles, view the site settings, and edit those, and also look at the QuickBooks queue. Now one thing to point out, the control panel is on, only accessible through the admin type of user. So we can see here under manage users, if I go under this test user here, we can see we can create that user role to be an admin type. So as long as you're an admin type, you'll be able to actually view the control panel. If you, you know, were just under supervisor or sales rep, you wouldn't be able to. Um, but here in the actual user module, we can see we can edit the first name, last name, we have the username, set the password, add an email, and then we can also allow that user to receive email. So back into the control panel and we can access that dashboard again by clicking in the upper right hand corner with this three bar icon. We can go right to control panel here. So next we have the user roles, and this is where we can actually specify what rights the users have once they're in those user roles. So if we open up customer here, we can see if they have a customer role as their type for their user, then they only have access to sales orders, the dashboard and users, or inventory has access to, you know, purchase orders, items, inventory, and so forth. So back into the control panel, we also have site settings. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. We have limit QuickBooks orders. You can set that to whatever you prefer. We have the reply to email and this detailed logging on or off. So we also have in the control panel, the QuickBooks queue. And here we can see any orders that are pending to go over to QuickBooks. We can also view any that have failed the export. We can see a lot here. And the history of everything. So this will show us what user did what, kind of a brief little explanation. We can see a vendor modification was done by the admin. We can see um, an estimate was modified right here by the admin things like that. Now everyone does have access to some kind of a QuickBooks queue. We can see in the upper right hand corner here this little exclamation mark. If we click that we can see actually what is in the queue pending. Um, but it just doesn't give it quite explanation that the QuickBooks queue does in the admin user role. So we can go back to control panel here and now we can see um, and now you know how to manage users, set the user roles, site settings, and view that QuickBooks queue. So thanks for watching and have a great day.